an insider's look at the Gumball 3000, and a Porsche 911 drop top. I'm Gene Sanchez, and this is Fastlane Daily. In an extensive inside look, Jalotnik's Davy Johnson chronicles the 2007 Gumball 3000. From the foreshadowing roadblock in Germany to the confusion and surrounding controversy following the tragic accident in Macedonia. Conflicting information marred the rally almost from the beginning. Faulty mapping computers and blocked tunnels gave way to a roadblock of information by event organizers. It seemed that even before the fatal accident in Macedonia, organizers' attempts to keep drivers in the dark may have been the bullet with the Gumball 3000 name on it. Continuing the German tradition of twin-turbo Porsche convertibles is the new 480 horsepower Porsche 997 Turbo Cabrio. The 3.6-liter boxer engine, equipped with optional Sport Chrono package, twists out over 500 foot-pounds of torque, propelling the 911 from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds when using the Triptronic S transmission. Shifting manually will take two tenths of a second longer, dropping the top another 20 seconds. Picking up the new 911 in Germany will cost a cooler 140,000 bucks. Top speed is a hair drying 192 miles per hour. Next up, a big rig falls on a V-dub and a disappearing Audi. That's in the internet rumor mill after this. Got a story for Fastlane Daily? Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastlaneDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Fastlane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. A freak accident spared a lucky driver's life and gave new meaning to the term crumple zone. A teetering big rig went over the top in Helsinki and pancaked every bit of a Volkswagen except for the area around the driver's seat. While the thread over exactly what model of Volkswagen and which VWVortex.com member is dating who continues, the good news is that both drivers apparently sustained only minor bumps and bruises in the smash-up. Bad news sometimes comes not once, but twice. Just ask Wisconsin's York Haydn, who had his 1990 Audi Quattro stolen twice in one day. The first theft occurred when Haydn's wife was getting groceries, but left the keys in the ignition. The car was found nearby, but in the time it took Haydn to go collect a spare key, the Audi had rolled away again. Police recovered the Audi the second time. The moral of this Paul Bunyan sized tale is a key left in the ignition might leave you holding nothing but twice the headache. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we go get a few spare keys made. I'll see you later.